All right, we're here for another episode of All Things Radio. Uh, we're going to build us a mesh-tastic node. Let's sell a box of goodies here. Uh, we're going to be using a rack wireless board. Um, never used one. Uh, the ones I normally use is the Hilltech. Um, I've never used a rack wireless, never had any dealings with one, so we're going to figure it out together. And I'm going to try to do this all in one video, um, the build process and everything. There's no holes in the box yet. Ain't nothing on the inside of the box done put together. Brand new box. The only thing I've done is these tabs on the back where I can mount it. Um, we mounted them a bracket. Uh, we did we did do some modifications to the bracket to make the solar panel fit the way I wanted it. Uh, that's the only thing that I have opened is a solar panel. It's still in the box, but it has been opened, and we have done some modifications to the bracket. Uh, all right, let's get into this. I will spin you around here, and we'll get started. Let's get all our parts out here. And we'll get some holes drilled here in just a few moments of a time. All this is a solar panel. We're going to leave it in the box till the very end. We'll do go get some tools. Um, those will come here in a few minutes. This is the box. Got all the goodies in it. So this is the bracket. We'll mess with it in a few minutes. This is the rack box. I do not have anything opened yet. So this box is still intact. Got a sticker in here looks like, and maybe some directions. Uh, this is a USB-C end. You'll see why I have that in a minute. Some coax adapters, my battery, and my antenna. So my battery is a 10,000 milliwatt. Or, um, yeah, but this coax adapter, so we're only gonna use one. Go ahead and dig it out. This hooks straight from the board to the wing of my connector, which um, you are an install connector. First things first, I wanna make sure this is gonna fit inside this lid. Don't look like it's going to. Oh, it will. So the battery is going to be in the lid. I got some two-sided. Um, I got some two-sided Velcro. Don't put that in there with. May actually have to turn it the other way, just so this reaches the board without being in a bind. So, but that's okay. All right, that fits. All right, we're gonna get this uh, board opened up. See what all pieces we got. Little antenna. Got the USB-C cable. Yep, USB-C cable for programming. Or for flashing. And got some little nuts and bolts. I don't really know what those are for, but. And then you got a coax adapter, which I will not be using. I bought, bought a different antenna. So this would go into here, but we'll not be using that. So we're gonna be using the, uh, um, we'll be using the install connector. So we're just gonna put this in this bag here and we'll save it for another project if we have one come up. We'll just lay it up here out of the way. Okay, so we got a Bluetooth antenna. We got some two-sided tape, so we're going to stick that in the bottom of this box because this is going to be up in the air. So I want this just as close to the ground as I can get it. So this rack board is going to be mounted to this, and that is all I know. Looks like we got some little holes here that we can zip tie the board the correct way instead of the way that I done my last one. 
So I do have a Yagi up. Um, looks like that battery end. I don't know which one's positive. Positive's on that side, so that should go in there like that. Let's look at this. So the positive is on the inside. And this is not gonna go in there like that. I'm gonna have to cut these uh, these wires and solder them back together, I guess. Because these pins are backwards. So we'll double check the battery and we'll make sure it's wired correctly before we go through all that trouble. And then we got the solar connectors. We'll make sure it's the right size. All this stuff was ordered separately. This does look like the right size for solar. And it's going to go in there just like that. Yep, and the positive on the inside. So the solar connector is correct. The battery connector is not correct. Because it will not go together with the battery going the right direction. Okay, so we'll have to solder that together. We'll have to cut that and solder that together. Ain't no big deal. All right, we'll lay this over here. This Bluetooth antenna, we'll go ahead and get it put on here. Uh, I'm not for sure which one Bluetooth is. So this board is marked where the your antennas go. So we're gonna drill a hole for the antenna connection. And it's gonna go out the top, of course. You just pick which one you want to be the top. I'm making this the top and it's gonna go right Right dead center of that. I'm gonna do it off camera. And I got a step bit line over here. Take some of my little toolbox. And we'll start stepping that out till it fits. So there again, I'm gonna do it off camera. I'll show you when I get done. We got our hole drilled. Just a little oversized, but it'll be fine. You have the Mestastic Web Flasher is where we're going. And it should look like that. Okay. So before we go any further, before we hook any power or anything else to this, both in gonna get everything connected. So before we do anything else, Put the antenna on it. We'll snug it up just enough to say it's snugged. This is just so when we hooked when we hooked the USB up to it, we're hooking it into the right board. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a red light blinking on there. Or it's not blinking, it's on. There's a red and a green light on that. So, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to select target. Let me turn this back off. And we're going to use the rack wireless 4631, I do believe. Wise block. So I guess that's the right one. We're gonna click on that one. We're gonna do the newest beta version. I'm gonna hit flash. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, hit continue. We're going to 4631 is done connected. And we're going to download the file from here. All right, we back. Uh, so flashing that sucked. I am not a computer person, so uh, I am probably not the person to show you how to do that, so I did not. Uh, we have a flash now, though, and we're going to start mounting everything. Um, back to the battery cables. So, the board is different than what the battery came, so we switched everything around. 
Uh, now your hot is now your ground wire, and your ground wire is now your hot wire. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this out and we're gonna mount the board to that. Let me get a screwdriver. So these two screws are in the back. So it holds this great looking thing in. So take that out. So we're just gonna mount this to it. We're gonna use zip ties. Like so. There you go. So it's all mounted. Uh, these three, they're inside the hole and that one's just kind of running over it. We're going to see which drill bit best fits that end. We're going to get the solar panel out and make sure it works for it too. Just like this. That one is actually a little bit smaller, so that will go, that will work for both. So now with my USB, it'll slide it up in there like that. And probably going to put the Bluetooth connector probably right there on the side. It looks like a good spot to me. This is going to go at the top, of course. All right, so this has got some two-sided tape. I'm just going to get that started. Peel it off. Make sure the sticky is on there. And stick it right to the side of the box. Get the install connector on here. A metal ring that'll bite. And then you have a lock ring. And then you have the nut that goes on it that holds it all together. So we're gonna get that as centered as much as we can. So that is now mounted. The O-ring is squished. Still gonna get a little bit of silicone to go around this. All right, there's that. There's a two-sided Velcro for the battery. Uh, just in case we ever wanna swap the battery, it is not glued. All right, here we go. We got the, got the other side pulled off. So we're gonna mount this. Right dead center of the lid. Just actually, we're going to push it to the bottom so where the wires are not bound up at the top. Smoosh it down. We have another little soldering project to do, and I will try to bring you along for this one. So, this is a problem that I run into when I was looking for solar panels is they all add USBs. And the right wireless board has its own solar connector. So I just got the solar connector and I got a USB port that has bare wires. So I'm gonna solder these two together. We'll strip a little extra wire off, get a good solder. I am wearing magnifying glasses so I can see. You don't have to strain. We're gonna strip back a good little portion. Make it easier about soldering. We're gonna push the heat shrink down. Put it inside the, uh, as long as we get a good connection. My solder gun's turned up too, so it should solder pretty quick. Soldered. Done. Soldered together. We have a USB-C on one end. We've got the solar connection on the other end. So now, when I run my USB cable through the hole, that has been zip tied down. So I can plug and unplug there. Next one I'll probably do is slide that knot up as far as I can get it. Like that. I'll pull it down, it don't have a whole lot of slack in it. I guess 
What we could do is go ahead and put the antenna on it, get the battery on it, make sure it's going to work. I'm not putting this up today because I don't have any silicone to go around the top. Got the box mounted to the bracket and you'll offset this way so I can mount my solar panel and it can turn the way I want it to turn. Uh, that's what we're doing next. This is for the solar panel wire here. Comes in through the USB-C, comes out, solder together, goes back into solar. Battery comes out from over here in the lid, 10,000 milliamp hour battery. And then that's the coax going to the antenna. That's the Bluetooth antenna. Lid shut. So box all closed up. I'm going to get a little bit of silicone to go around that. The solar panel is going to mount there. That's bolted in both bolts it's a little offset so the way that my panel will mount flat all right so there's a solar panel mounted to there it got some bolts come to the top there you can see that I made a mishap so the solar panel is not vertically perfect but it should be in the sun to charge what's in there all right, guys, thank you for staying and watching this video. We got the whole node built. Uh, we didn't go through the settings on the app. Uh, we may do that later on, uh, but that is all for now. Thank you for watching. God bless you.